Step 1 is to activate dev mode. To do this, you need to go to Xbox Marketplace. Type in dev mode. Make sure you get the activation kit. And once it's fully downloaded, open it. Go to the second page and it'll show you the requirements your computer has to sign up. Go to a page after that and it will show you a code and the website you have to go to to activate it. During your activation, if you put in your from Turkey, you will get it cheaper. After doing this, it'll just load you into dev mode, but I'm going to go into dev mode since I already have it. This is the dev mode screen and it should say you're offline. To go online, go into settings and go to your network settings and sign into your Wi-Fi. Go back to this main screen and it should be empty. To fill it, you need UWPs. We'll get into the UWPs later, but I cannot give you them in this video. There will be a Discord with the UWPs, but I cannot help you get ROMs. I do not condone piracy. You can strip a ROM from an old disk or you can get them off the internet with a simple google search moving along so for usb setup xbox media usb is really good just google search it download it and extract the winrar the winrar for it to actually work your format of usb has to be ntfs which media loader can change it to so just do that and then you're ready to get games i think that the usb driver thing does change your securities but just in case it doesn't open up properties go into security go into edit permissions click on each permission and then turn on full control make sure there's full control for them all and then even in the all packages at the top full permission and then yeah now you're free to get games try to make your usb look organized like this with a couple of folders so everything isn't all messy from here you would get games and bios which again you have to google i cannot help you get bios or games so download the uwp you want like ppssp type in the website that i have censored out at the corner right of your screen and then i'll show from there how to download the uwp package so you want to go to the website on pc i myself am using mobile find the package put it in and just wait for it to process and after that it should pop up right on the dev mode screen and from there you can open it you want to set it to a game and not an app by that you just click the two windows beside the pause button and then go to it being app or game and click it to game so first and foremost i'm going to teach you how to work dolphin emulator once it opens up you open up the settings menu after you do that you just scroll down to path you pick the path by collecting the one with your games so just the folder you put all your games into once you've done that select it to instantly click out from between the folders to like the back out menu just click the button beside pause like the with the two windows i'd like to keep this at config just to nothing but if you want put it into your dolphin folder and it will create its own folder now to set up your controller, go to controllers, go to GameCube, and right in profile, put it to default for each controller you're playing with. Go to Wii, and you have three options. Nunchuck, wireless, and sideways. And yeah, you should have all your games. Now let's get into Xenia. So Xenia is pretty simple too. You pretty much just want to load it up, scroll over to paths. Once you hit pass, just the same process, you want to add one and then go all the way down to your Xenia folder with your games. Once that's finished, you can set the same folder in Xenia. I just suggest creating one for config path and then just putting it in there. And there's an extras tab right beside paths and that's just for DLC content. You just export it there. Next, we're getting straight into RetroArch. What you're going to want to do is go to the main menu and then go to online updater from online updater you're gonna want to just update pretty much everything that you can so for the most part you don't need to do these two the cores are already there this one you do not need roms for roms come already built in so you just update all of these cores down here and to get the game you go down to content or import content you go into the drive with the game you want. I'm going to just import the DS for this video. 
and once that export is finished you have all the games and from there you can just play all the DS games something you will want to do on RetroArch though is button input so go to settings and input and then you'll want to get all the good stuff like the hotkeys for stop freaking rewind pause I don't know just all that good stuff so pick certain buttons for escape the game things like that and then yeah from there you are really good to just go play whatever game you want so PPSSP is pretty simple it's gonna ask you where you're, you're gonna put your save data I suggest just making a folder for it in PSP and yeah once that's finished you're just gonna wanna click the home icon and then once you do that you just wanna keep clicking the up arrow and then you'll see your games it's as simple as that all your titles flycast comes with both in built in bios so all you gotta do is go to settings go down to the content location go to parent browsery go to wherever your games are kept and then go all the way down to your dreamcast games Once that's done, just click B, and then click out, click on done at the top, and boom, all your Dreamcast titles. Give it some time, and they'll all load with the proper like title or disc it came with, which is pretty cool that they added the discs. So for, Inten for Nintendo 64, you want to go to the games directory, which is in the settings. Just find your Nintendo 64 games. Find, like just add the collection and yeah just scroll over to where the games are and you can play all your Nintendo 64 games alright so for Duck Station you're gonna wanna scroll down to the settings go over to the BIOS option and in BIOS you can do them one by one but I just wanna go to the BIOS directory so I'm gonna do that and then go all the way to the main directory go to your drive click on just PlayStation 1 BIOS you have to get the BIOS online like I said I cannot show you how to get the BIOS put that in there and then you're gonna want to scroll over to how you put in the games so that's game list setting the second option go to add search directory go to your PlayStation 1 game directory once you have that you just put it in it should load every single game that you have in that folder and yeah, you're free to play every PlayStation 1 title that you have. Make sure that the BIOS, you should have three different BIOS. So just make sure that you just get them all just in case. Make sure that everything is in place and everything should work perfectly. Alright, so for PlayStation 2 games, here's what you're going to want to do. You're going to want to go down to settings. You're going to want to go down to your BIOS. You're going to want to just go to your PlayStation 2 folder with the BIOS, which you can find online. But yeah, you're going to want to put in the BIOS. Here, you're going to want to put in certain things. So I'd say for sure put in your saves. Um, you can add cheats here and like different game settings and even texture packs. But yeah, that's it. After you got your, your BIOS and your game directory, you can just go play any PlayStation 2 game you have. And yeah. That's it for my video. I make a variety of content. So if you liked, please like, subscribe, and check out another video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.